so I'm looking at a GLC, but this is the A, what is this, the A220. This is an A220. So the A220 does not actually replace the CLA. The A220 is basically, let's see if I get in there, see if I get my finger in there. The A220 is a newer, more expensive small car. Fuck. A2 Wait, how do, how do you pull this thing up? Let's see how we pull this up. The A220 is a smaller, more expensive small car. Fuck. How the hell do you... I see the yellow thing. Okay. I'm not even going to bother with that because that's just too hard. I don't know. That thing's trying to eat my goddamn finger. So anyway, this is the A220. And uh, interior is nice. So it's like, let's say you can't afford a CLA because you're broke or because you've got lots of student loans and you can't afford to buy something as cool as a, a E-class coupe or a C-class coupe. Well, they got the A-class right here. So this is a two-door right here. Now, they got the two-door right here. Now, I don't know if they have an A coupe, but here you are. There's just enough space in the back for your amputee children. Not a lot of space, obviously. Not a lot of space. So, this is basically so you can say that uh, you have a Mercedes-Benz. It's just like with the CLA and the GLA. These are cars for people who want to be able to say, yeah, I got a Mercedes-Benz. I drive a Mercedes. You know? But what you leave out is the fact that you drive the smallest, cheapest one they sell. So, Whoa, Jesus Christ. Whoa. It's hard just getting in this goddamn thing. This is the reason why cars aren't selling anymore. This is the reason why everybody's buying, uh, what is it called, crossovers. Jesus, this is like a freaking go-kart. Okay. So one of the beautiful things that they have been doing is they've been giving you a little bit more roof space. Now, I'm looking around, and right now I'm a little happy because look at this. Heated seats, cooled seats. See... Some people are like, oh yeah, well, you're worried about the wrong things. I need to be able to cool and heat my ass. When I get in one of these damn cars in the winter, I need a heated steering wheel because I just finished shoveling snow and I need heated seats because I need to warm up my ass and my lower back. Now, when I get in one of these cars in the summer, I need to be able to cool my ass. So if I can't cool and heat my ass, that car automatically loses the possibility of getting five stars from me. You're not getting five stars. You're just not. So look at this shit. Look at this. So you put, can, can I touch that? Can I, oh shit, yes, this is a touch screen. Oh my God. Okay, look at this. Look at this, this is nice. Holy shit, look at this. So what kind of features do we have in this mother? So we got the Navi map right here. That. Ooh, look at that. That's nice and crisp, too. I'm going to push radio right here. I'm push radio, and then let me push Navi, and then you can see it go back and forth. Oh, snap. That is hot. Look at that. That is so hot. This car is nice. Like, this is nice. Now, how much do they want for these things? How much do they want for this? Now, now, it's a small Mercedes. This is a small Mercedes. But let me tell you something. If you wanted these short people, and you don't really need the space of an E-Class, or even a big C-Class, or or God knows you don't need the space of that S-Class over there. Let me tell you something. If you wanted these short little midgets, like let's say your Tyrion Lannister or your Peter Dinklage, if your feet can actually touch those pedals when you're sitting way up on this wheel, let me tell you something. This car right here is fabulous. This is fabulous, look at this. So you got the uh, dual zone. Every car pretty much has dual zone now. I don't know if they have a, a wireless charger down here to charge your phone, but look at, the, look at, look at this. They got the USB. They've got all the voice control commands. This is like a baby S-Class right here, but how much do they want for it? See, the S-Class is like $110,000. Like this car is $50,000, and this is the smallest this is the smallest Benz that you can get. This thing's fifty thousand, fifty-one thousand, I should say. And this guy, this has it all. This has it all, basically. And it's got a nice moon roof right here. This is really nice. Like, if let's say you're a little short woman, and you're kept, and your husband's like buying you nice cars and everything, this isn't bad. Like, this is a great city car right here. This is really nice. 
See, I don't like BMW because BMW, it just, it's just too much like a regular car to me. I don't like, I don't really like BMW, but this is nice. So it says place key in the mark space. What mark space? Where do they want the key to go? I don't know. Okay, so you get a USB-C charger. You get two USB-C chargers. You get one USB-C charger right here. All of these chargers are USB-C. Now, that's actually kind of interesting because the thing about it is most equipment right now is regular USB 2.0 and 3.0. So right here, you have USB-C. Look at this. Look, look at this. They got the wide booty kit on this one. Okay, my goodness. So anyway, okay, uh, we got three memory seats. Now, why the hell do you have three memory seats? Because basically, let's say your husband's number one, your uh, kid, well, no, your kid, fuck that. Don't let your kid drive your car ever, because they'll wreck it. Your husband, the wife, and number three should be like probably your, your, your the husband's girlfriend. So right here, this is a really nice dealership right here. We got, this is lovely. It's absolutely lovely. And this thing has like everything. It's got the door locks right there. It's like, this is really nice. This is really, really, really nice. I like this one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So basically, this is really, really nice. And um, what else? You got these little touch, capacitive touch pads right there. Capacitive touch pads right here. And then you got the volume up and down right there. And you got the. Uh, voice control let's let's try that oh wait you don't push you don't touch here you gotta touch here right, let's see how you do that wait what are you pushing in no hmm, i don't know how that works okay i can't get any music in there so as you can see you can see what's playing an in anima anima by tool on the shark that's the network anima okay what else we got here? Cruise control. I don't know if this car has adaptive cruise control. Let's see if it has adaptive cruise control. I don't know. Does it? it should. Look at all these fucking options. This thing's got a garage door opener for $280. You mean to tell me y'all couldn't get the Walmart $5 garage opener? The hell's wrong with you guys? Look at all this shit up here. My God, this thing looks like a damn spaceship. Wow. Heated ventilated seats were 1030 Thank you for leaving those in. Thank you. I should never have to worry about heated and ventilation, ever. Uh, Sirius XM radio is fucking $460. Goddamn. Lowered comfort suspension. Uh, lowered comfort suspension is 290 Interior 64 color ambient lights. So they got ambient lights in this thing. Okay, let's check that out. Hard disk navigation. Okay, all right, 1,115. Navigation should also be standard. I mean, for God's sakes, it's 2019. They sell freaking tablets in CVS and Walgreens. Like, I should not have to pay extra for navigation. That should be built into the price of the car. You know, I hope these German companies are listening to me because otherwise you're going to keep on losing business to the damn Hyundai and Kia. So anyway, what's this? What's this? Driver assistance. This thing has Distronic. This thing has adaptive cruise control. It's got Distronic, baby. Yo, this thing is freaking loaded. This is a loaded A220. What kind of engine is it got? It's got some little bullshit four cylinder. Oh my god, it's got less than 2,000 horsepower. But listen, if you're sitting around in traffic, 200 horsepower or a little bit less is not so bad, but you better not have a full complement of people. Because, look, let me tell you something. This car. Let's say that you can't afford a CLS. Let's say you can't afford an S-Class Coupe. This car right here gives you pretty much everything, the comfort and all that you need without giving you the high gas costs and without giving you the um, headaches and car insurance that you don't need. Because this, I have to say, this thing is nice. This is nice. Well, let's, see about, let's see about the car features. Let's see how the car features work. So let's see, you push this button right here. So you push this button, and then it should go to car features. So you got, okay, look at this assistance. So basically the touchpad, this touchpad has like some kind of haptic feedback which bounces back. So let's let's see this, let's see that. So when you, when you go to, uh, what is this, what is this? Vehicle, okay. Now I tell you, using this is kind of crazy because it, it has that little haptic touch bullshit 
from those fucking shitty Galaxy phones. So anyway, let's see if I can do this. Oh yes, you can. Look at that. They finally have touchscreens in these cars. Thank God. Ambient lighting. I, I want to get straight to the ambient lighting. Look at this. Color. What color do we got? Let's see. Uh, wait, first let's check the brightness. Look at us. Okay, let's let's make them all bright. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's go back. Thank God for touchscreens. My God. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They, they even got it right around the cells. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh it turned off. It's kind of like my computer. Like my alien way. It kind of looks just like my Look at this. Okay, let's let's check these colors. Let's check these colors. Okay, so we got okay. Wait, online services unavailable. The fuck? That's not what I asked you for. Ocean blue. Let's see the color. Let's see the color. Ooh, stop! Look at that. It's ocean blue. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. And now look at this purple sky. Look at this. Purple sky. Is that purple or is that blue? Oh, and it fades in and out like like it's so luxury now this is nice let me tell you something this is a red moon let's see oh they got two of them look at this they have two they got one down here and they got one right here look at that shit fire red look at this Ooh. but you know what i noticed they in the back they really don't have it going all the way around the doors they only have little spots inside these cup holders so that's kind of Let's see, multicolor. Let's see. Whoa. Ooh, snap. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I can turn it orange. Ooh, snap. Look at that. This is so cool. I love this. Let me tell you something. Mercedes makes the best cars. Fuck BMW. Fuck Audi. Mercedes makes the best cars. Mercedes makes the best cars. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not talking about racing cars. I'm just talking about when it comes to luxury. Now look at look at this. Look at this. They got the little blue. They got the green lights right around it. Look at look at that. This is just like my Alienware computers. That is amazing. Look at that shit. So basically, half of your drive is just what color am I going to drive today? Like if I woke up in the morning, I got to go to work. I think I would spend about 10 minutes just deciding what color I'm going to work driving with. That is crazy. I got the Thanos purple. And I got like the infinity stones. I got all the colors. I got all the infinity stones right here. Oh my God, this shit is sick. This is nice. And this is $50,000. It's like, what more could you want out of a car? It's like this whole thing about like really, really powerful engines. You only need one fast car, but let's say you need a luxury car because you want to go into the city and you want to like have a nice meal and everything you go into the city with a mercedes especially if you're in manhattan and i'm not talking about like one of these cheap ass bmws one of them shitty m3s i'm not talking about that i'm saying you gotta have a nice luxury car so like when you're driving past the bus stops people are looking at your car and they're like hey yo the inside of this guy's car looks like a spaceship you know this is not oh my god this is nice Look at these, look, look at this. I could do this shit all fucking day just playing with these damn colors. I could do this all day. This car has heated, cooled seats. It's got memory seats from my wife, from me, and from my girlfriend. I mean, it's got voice control. It's got Distronic. It could drive itself in traffic. It could do just like Majib, it's stop and go, slow itself down to a stop to zero. This, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I would never spend my money at BMW or Audi, ever. And I hope the people at BMW and Audi are listening to me right now, because Audi especially, Audi doesn't like to give you heated and cooled seats. Audi likes to fuck with you. Oh yeah, well, you know, this is a fine automobile. This is an Audi, so all you need is heated seats with your broke ass. No, uh-uh. What I'm talking about is I want it all. And if you can't give me, if you can't give me what I'm talking about, then you got a problem. Cause my thing is, I want, I want all, look at this, this is nice, look at this purple. Look at this, look at this, this is like Thanos. It's like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers up in here. <laughs> this is so hot. I, I swear to God, I could do this shit all day. Welcome effects is like when you get into the car. Yo, this is sick, I love it. Look at this, this is so fucking cool. It's like the inside of your car is a damn spaceship and you only pay $50,000. That's crazy.
The GLC doesn't have all of this stuff yet. Man, I swear to God, I could sit, I could sit here for an hour and a half just doing this. Okay, so let's go look at something else. So I let me tell you something. A class, A class. I honestly th see the thing about it is when you're in New York City, when you're in New York City, you're stuck in traffic like basically all day. Because I've showed you what traffic looks like here. So oh wait, what's this do? Look at this. Switch on the ignition. Okay. I don't know if these cars have, um, some of these cars I think actually have massage seats, but I don't know if this car has it. Let's see, does this car have massage seats? But I tell you, let me tell you something. As far as I'm concerned, this car already gets five stars. Or already, it gets five stars. Five stars, easily. In fact, I would rate this car higher than that shitty Audi A7 and the BMW 6. Not impressed. This car gets five stars, five stars, easily. So let's see, let's see something else. Man, I am very impressed with the A-Class, my goodness. If I was a small woman and I needed a car, like if I was a little woman, I would buy this car. Damn sure I would buy this car. If I was like a little chick, I would definitely buy this car. This thing is too cool. Let's see if I could turn it off. How do you turn this damn thing off? How you turn everything off when you hit the power button? Okay, yes. let's get out of here. Whoa, Jesus Christ. God damn it. Oh. Nice car. Okay, let's go play with something else. Because okay, by the way, just in case you want to know what we're we're looking at the GLC again because they called us, said that they had a nice deal on GLCs. I believe that this is the uh AMG GT, I believe, the GT63. So basically, in my opinion, this is nice, but this reminds me so much of a Porsche Panamera. This looks exactly like the Porsche Panamera to me. So it looks like that's what, I mean, for God's sakes, they even have the spoiler back here. It's like you couldn't make this thing look anything less like the Porsche Panamera. But the one thing that they have in this thing, they got pictures and stuff. Like they have like buttons that have photos on them, so it's like this thing is like damn near two hundred thousand dollars, and most of that money you pay, you pay for the buttons because the buttons have pictures. Jesus, oh Jesus, fucking Christ! Make these things bigger. God damn! Make these damn things bigger. Just make them bigger. They'll sell. Why do you think people keep buying these stupid crossovers? Nobody wants a crossover. They want a car, but they want a big car. You gotta target basketball and football players. It's like if you keep targeting these 50 year old balding freaking wasps, it's like you're always gonna come up short. And when I say short, I mean short, like, because these guys are short, genetically inferior. So, anyway, what is this? You can control the right hand side seat, just like the S Class. I can do all this stuff, like, I can put the headrest up and down. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you gotta target tall people with money. That's what you gotta do. Stop targeting these short ass balding guys with melanoma skin cancer. Skin cancer is gonna kill them all. Stop targeting those guys. Target people like me. How much is this? $162,000. Oh my god, I need cheese on my Whopper. Whoa, look at the hood. Look at that hood. That hood looks like a damn Hellcat hood. Look at that shit. Wow. Got buttons and shit with freaking pictures on them. This is nice. Wow. Now, this is nice. Oh, what's, ooh, what's this? Oh, near field communications, USB charger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice. 63, baby. Mercedes makes the best cars. Fuck Audi, fuck BMW. Mercedes makes the best cars. The Trump finger is never wrong. Look at the Trump finger. Mercedes makes the best cars. Look at this damn thing. This is nice. This I would take this over one of those ugly ass Porsche Panameras in a, in a heartbeat. Because from what I know, the Porsche Panamera pretty much costs exactly similar to what this thing costs, but this thing probably has like way more power because I was looking at the new Porsche Panameras that came out and they wanted damn near $200,000 for those things and they sure as hell didn't have 590 pound feet of torque. They didn't have all that. It's like, you trying to sell me a porky pie? You can't sell me no porky pie. 
<laughs> Damn. Yeah. But she, I will say this, though. As nice as this car is, as nice as this interior is, and I'm pretty sure you can design it uh, to look even better. If you saw this car on the highway, this car really doesn't stand out that much. Like, the active aerodynamics in the back would remind most... Most people would see this car and they'd think it was an Audi A7 because of that wing back there. But this car doesn't terribly stand out on the highway. And I've seen a couple of these things. But um, I really don't believe they really, really stand out that much. This is nice. Okay, so this is a 4Matic GLC 300 4Matic, as you can see. Now, we test drove the GLC before. The problem with a lot of these cars is, like, the lease deals. Sometimes the lease deals aren't everything you expect. Sometimes. So, oh, let's see. Oh god, it doesn't have the cold seats, these bastards. This one doesn't have cold seats. You know, you know, you know I'm angry because this doesn't have cold seats. You already know I'm angry. If it don't have cold seats, I don't need I, this shit shouldn't exist. Uh, okay, panel roof. Alright, got the panel roof. Yeah, this that's thing comes up. Uh, headrest, headrest and uh, it's powered, mm -hmm. so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm getting right. help from the pros. Okay, lovely. That's a no already. Where's the You gotta remember, with German cars, remote start may or may not be legal because the problem is they don't have that stuff in Europe. Right. And, and you see how the key is there? Some of these states, they actually have laws in certain countries where the key has to be in the ignition. It can't be like outside yeah, of fault. Yeah, because they want to make sure you don't run over children. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's just what it is. Right here? Yeah. That's why it's I deal with SRT. Is the mirrors good? Yeah. Perfect. This one, you're going to push it down. It's going to be dry. Okay. okay. And up, it's going to be reverse, and you have backup camera. Okay. And the mirror moves. And to park, you have to push it in. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Just uh, turn down the radio. I'm sorry sure. about that. I'm sorry. Okay, so this way she can hear you. No problem. If you hit it just lightly, it's going to turn on three times and it's going to be off. If you're going to push it all the way down, when you steer the steering wheel, when you go back, it's going to shut off or you can do it manually. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's going to be the other side. The first one, it's gonna be with sensors. So if it's rain hard, it's gonna rain by, it's gonna uh, go faster by itself. Okay. Okay. So just leave it on the first one? Yeah, that's good. Now where are we going? Out into the right? Yeah. Do we have gas? Uh, yes. And do we have a plate? Do you wanna go to Queens? We have like three um, bars for the gas. Perfect. Yeah, do you wanna go to Queens and yeah. come back? Actually, Queens? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a long <laughs> way. You can go to Long Island, that's where I live. Oh, Disney World. Long Island City? No, I live in Long Island, Baldwin. Oh, okay. Oh, somebody got a Lambo down there, a green Lambo. Now in Lindenhurst. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. It feels a little squashed. You can adjust the seat the way you want it to, and the steering wheel, it goes up and down and full scope also. Does it have uh, heating and ventilating? The steering wheel, the steering wheel not. Oh, you guys are way behind Cadillac and everything else. No, we have it, but it's a high-end oh, one. Right. Oh. Yes, ma'am. So and what is this going for the way it is right now? This one, it's uh, it's 52, 490, uh, 495. Ridiculous. It has nothing in it, Albert. Heated seats, that's it. What else? What you else have heated have? seats, you have a dual climate control, so you can adjust your own temperature. Mm -hmm. And um, also... You have, of course, the cup holders and the button okay, holders for each. For cup holders? No, no, I'm just <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Oh my god! So you have an English accent? Yes, I grew up in London. That's why really? I can see Rebecca. Nice. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from Egypt. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Uh, She's been to Egypt, right? I've been to Egypt. Yes, really? Yes. Where? I was in. Cairo. Cairo. I'm from Cairo. Is it Lux? Is that Lux? Is that 
Luxor? Yeah, Luxor. That's one. Uh, we went to where the, the no, that's that's Sharm Sheikh. No, I didn't go to Sharm Sheikh. That was an extension. I had to come home. Um, uh, where, did, where else did we go? So we went to Cairo and a couple of places. Alexandria. No, we didn't go there. Um, Ephesus. That yeah, oh, that's that's, that's nice too. too. It yeah. has a lot of uh, yeah, statues and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, Troy is that Egypt? Yeah. Where? Um, Ram. Where Ramesses uh, thing is? Um, oh, Ramses and uh, uh, Giza. Yeah, we went to. We saw the pyramids of Giza, mm -hmm. and also the other one, um, where the big statues are, and the Valley of the Kings. We went. Okay, that's uh, Aswan. Aswan, yeah, yes. So we went there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I live. Where over. is the airport in Cairo? Mm -hmm. I live like five minutes, seven minutes from wow. the airport. Wow. Yeah. Everyone's asleep in the day, and then it's yeah. like <laughs> the up at night because yeah, it's so hot. That's true. Yeah. It was fun. It was great. I enjoyed it. That's good. When did he go? Oh my God! Way before the trouble started. Okay, that's yes, good. I was smart. I did it early. That's good. How's the view? The view's alright, but it just still feels like small. It feels like because I've driven everything already. So compared to like a Jeep and stuff, they like whoa. Yeah, but Jeep it's and bigger. Uh, it is. Like Jeep, it's good for the GLE. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's gonna be compared to Jeep. Yeah. And what about the um, Acura or DX? Is this compared to Are, that? Oh, uh, oh, what am I doing? Oh shoot. That's okay. Oh. I'm used to it being yeah. Is there a way to turn the paddle shifters off? Oh, no. Is there a way to turn the paddle shifters off? Because Did she touch the paddle shifter, I think? No, she no. puts in the uh, put neutral. neutral. Oh, you put it in neutral? Yeah, yeah, that's not good. You trying to kill us? No, because I thought it was the wipers, but we didn't need to. It's going to do it automatically. <laughs> I'm surprised you can do that without pushing the button, though. Yeah, I just pull, push I mean, it if you want to adjust it, you can just turn it. Uh, like yes. But well, is it usual on this side of most cars? Uh, most of the cars, oh, yes. Yeah, it's not German cars. German is on the other side, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So That's why they lost World War II. Oh, this yeah. I yeah. swear to God, if I was president, they would have gotten nuked. Yeah. So how long have you been in, in America? Um, I moved in 97. Okay. Yes, so, ma'am. Have you ever been to London? I have my cousin. He's in London. Mm -hmm. Where is uh, Ben uh, Watch? It's uh, like very close. I forget the name. So uh, where? Like it's a big watch. What's oh, called, oh uh, yeah, Big Ben. Big Ben. Oh, he's right in the city. Yes. That's right. Uh, Edgeware Road. There's lots of Egyptians <laughs> down there. There's uh, like a strip of everything. Hookah mm -hmm. bars and restaurants. Does, does he, he lives in the city? He loves this. Yes. Wow, right there next to Big Ben? Yes. Oh, wow. So maybe Vauxhall, that's right over the city. Because you don't live in the city city where the clock is, because that's like living in... He has a, a hotel and oh, okay. he, he lives over there like, because of the... Yeah, yeah, hotel. I'm like, yeah. that's like the heart of like living in Fifth Avenue. Like, yeah. you don't live there. There's stores and shops. He has a yeah. hotel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. the heart of London. And he was... Fighting with me last year because mm -hmm. I told him I will do it, I will do it, I will do it. So mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. he said like, "When are you gonna do it? Like, yeah. I'm, gonna I'm not gonna what? ask you like to go to visit him." Oh yeah, yeah. Because he came in to visit me mm -hmm. and he said, "Now it's your turn." You've got to go. But yeah. it's like this but the only day. thing I have, have a three kids summer. and my wife, so it's really too expensive for me to, yeah? to go. Yeah. Uh, where's your card? I have something for you um, that you can get there. Do you, you don't have a card? I just started in Mercedes Benz, oh, but yeah. I will give you my uh, yeah, information. Yes, yeah, be nice. Where were you before? I was in Kia mm -hmm. for six years. Oh, we're trying to get the Telluride. Do you have Telluride, it's beautiful. Yeah. I have my the store manager. He's a very close friend to oh, me. Well, let's so, go there. We're getting that, not this. Forget it. You don't want this one? No. Why? It's, it's like a little box. It's too small. Can I show you the, the one money little you want bit? Me to pay? There is one little bit bigger than this oh. one. It's really, really comfortable. The monthly fee is ridiculous. What would it, what would it be on this? I, I want to pay 450 that's it. 
Yeah. I will get the numbers when we go back. Yeah. That's okay. not a problem. Get me the Telluride. Is there a is there a key uh, here? There is one. Yes, but it's almost across the street from us. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Watch out for these trucks. What are you talking about? I'm in my this, lane. This truck? No, I mean I'm just saying. This guy's driving ultra aggressive. Oh, we can go ahead. I'm driving very well. Right, right, Calvin. Yeah. Very careful. This is how we drive all the time. That idiots go in the middle of the rain, acting like ducks. I have no, I'm in no hurry. Yeah. Like I said, here is the numbers. That's it. Like whatever. And I was. Just yeah. Okay. And actually, believe it or not, until now the, the customers they come in after me. Yeah. Like when I wasn't, they moved me from that store to Bohemia. Yeah. And I came back again. Yeah. And they, the, my customers they go like, which store? What you yeah. are in there? Yeah. You want to make yes. up? You're honest. Right. We yeah. can get off now. Go back. If you want to, continue. This is this is and Pashmina Street. Yeah. No, I have to go because they they let us do it. We we don't have the numbers. That's why we have some some anarchy out here. And they want to. Holy shit! That's big. That's the fat boy. You got the Harley Davidson fat boy out here. Honest, Sons of Anarchy yeah, too. Wow. So we really don't care about them. I mean, I cannot say them the dealer, but we don't really care about them. We want to do the deal so we can get the ship. So as too many cars you sell them uh, a month, you get your bonus. Right. Yeah. The first bonus is 12 cars, 15, 18, 20, 25, 30. Anything in between, you cannot really, you, you don't get the bonus. So is it just the bonus you guys work for? Mercedes E-Class. It's uh, the minimum wage. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. And if, like, if we say too many cars, like, say... She has a BMW. Seven cars a month. She's uh, not as cool. We don't take the salary. Oh. So whatever it's more, we take it. Yeah. Okay. Which I don't really like, but... Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Like, why can I have But the only thing they owe for health insurance, to be honest with you, I, I had a business before I had gas station, which was my biggest mistake I did in my life. Yeah. Before that, I had a restaurant, a bar and coffee shop in Astoria, mm -hmm. Stanley Street and Korea. Yeah, please. Yes, that was the best thing ever. But uh, when I got the gas station, Jesus Christ. six heart attacks to open our surgeries, I lost everything. No. Yeah, because I didn't, I had no health insurance at all. You don't have to use them. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But I meant like for for safety, they have it. It's um, very good. But German cars, we know, are really quite safe. Yeah, so that's good. Overpriced though. I mean, look at the Alpine. Gee, I mean, you think they'd adjust for the American way, right? No. What do you mean? Like a four and whatever. We yeah. have a fob in the key, but uh, yeah. to lock and unlock the car okay. and the trunk, but the strap is still have to put the key in there? Yeah. Is you this can one? add a uh, push button start, but I don't know how much it's going to cost, to be oh, honest with you. It's not, everything is efficient. They're trying to get you, yes. Yeah. So this I is hate just to like say it like that. Right now. Yeah, this is a basic one. Oh, and it's still 
still I mean, it's not basic, basic. It has a package also. Just a package. Okay, here is a package. Hey, look at that guy. He His MDX, he broke his, uh, his uh, wiper. Yeah. <laughs> that looks horrible. I wouldn't even want to drive it. Because that looks that looks just terrible. Just take it off. Uh, no, you wouldn't go to work because your wife is broken. Uh, yeah. I'd have to hand them the car back and get a loaner. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't drive around like that. I just couldn't do it. Vanity. That's right. Car vanity. <laughs> and you have the blind spot detectors. This one it has the heated seats. The blind spot detectors. Okay. You have a seat. In no ventilated seats. Uh, in the higher one, yes, but not uh, this model. This one, it has a heated seats. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. But you have the Prime Master uh, sound system, which is the top sound system you can do. <laughs> John, these silly boys are. Well, the there are the some people who, for whatever reason, oh, think so. that. Uh, negative camber on their tires is cool now me personally what i think is cool is watching them drive over a sewer grate and watching it destroy the underside of their car the only problem is they they stop up traffic yeah but every now and then i get lucky and you know it'll hit the gas tank and those cars just explode so this way you don't have to deal with them anymore you know but they they ruin traffic they ruin traffic i can't have that i can't have that at all can't have it and then, and then some of these fools try to race me when they see me on the road. So what I do is I purposefully go over bumps and uh, cracks and everything. And my car can handle it. This cannot. This is ridiculous. Look at this, Look at this guy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry? The car is already on the floor. Yeah, yeah those guys hold up traffic. I don't have time for that. Yeah, it's already on the floor. That's ridiculous. Yeah, those guys hold up traffic so much. So you have three children, Albert, yes, and a wife. That's nice. I have three girls. Oh, Lord. Ten, seven, and two years. Yikes. You have to go back for the boy then? No. It's not no. good. I'm done. good. Thank God. <laughs> they are more than enough. That's good. Yes, I can imagine. The girls are handful. Yeah, one of my uncles had five boys before he realized the girl wasn't happening. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> yeah. Two boys and one girl. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Baby is a girl. So at least you have both. Mm -hmm. For the woman, huh? Oh my yeah. goodness. Even my dog, she's a female. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes. I couldn't give you one? Just no. a male dog? Oh, he's over there? One. That's why I used uh, to be here before. Oh. Yeah, we have to call them. Go see if they have the tell tel tel right. Tel right. Yeah, yes, there is one right there. There's one? You yeah. want 2019? Yeah, it just came up. Yeah, yeah. it just came up. So you know the guy? So you better call yes. him. Red Lobster. I did not know it was a Red Lobster. Are we going over right? No, we're going to make a left. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I need to see that, right? If you want to go further, that's fine. You can make no. a right, whatever you want. There is no problem. If, if you want to go back, it's going to be right here. No, it's a lovely Let's take to drive too, sir? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm not going to charge you. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice brakes. What is that when it's like da, 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 on the ground? When the brakes are a little... Oh, that's the ABS brakes, mm -hmm. which it's really good. If the car starts to slide, the mm -hmm. car's gonna adjust yeah. the brakes by itself. Yeah, that's so it's gonna stop the car faster. Yeah. Actually, that's for your uh, safety. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, that, that happens on my Yeah, that's for safety. It's that's good. true. It's good. All right. Sure. So yeah, that button, it's, it's okay, it's okay, because you probably yeah, thought it was like the, the S package. class. Yeah. Yes. Is it in the package? Yeah, the S class keeps it in a different place yeah. than the E class, yeah. I guess. No. Yeah, they change it. So you've only been in Mercedes how long now, but my love? Two weeks. Oh, see? Oh, my goodness. You got any good sales? Yeah, you got any good sales. Not yet. Not uh, yeah. Are you gonna be my first one? No, that's not happening. I'm so sorry to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> these prices. Yeah. Oh, Unless he can work out numbers. Yeah. Look how time this. A lot of work. But. I don't want any numbers on this because it doesn't have half the stuff that I want. So where do you want to park it? 
you man can we stop in the side left where it was so it's gonna be close to your A class. I like that A class. That is so nice. I like that A class. I mean the A class is so cute. That is a very nice car if I was like a rich little girl. If you want I can get you. Look at that one next to you. Oh you have to push it? Yes ma'am. Look at that one. Where? That? Next to you, yes. This one it's a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. And a little bit more. Yes. Mm. I mean, just to first to look at the car to be comfortable, and we'll talk about the numbers after. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, Hyundai Sonata. That's not really a Hyundai Sonata. That's a Mercedes CLA with a Hyundai Sonata appearance package. Okay, I gotta turn off my focus lock so this way I don't get the overexposure. I had to turn on focus lock because the problem is when you look through windows that have water on them, the focus doesn't know what to do. And uh, I had to turn on focus lock in order to ensure that I, I got a nice underexposed photo. So in there, it's, it was a little bit dark in there. C43, ooh. Got the A class, the C43, look at that. That's nice. That is nice. Let me tell you something. Mercedes makes awesome fucking cars. Fuck BMW. Fuck Audi. Mercedes makes awesome cars. Whoa, holy shit, this is nice. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't want to fall over on this car right here. This is nice. C43. This is nice. Look at this thing. And these are like little cars and everything, but these are so cool. How much is this piece of shit? What is this? $64,000. My goodness. Look at this brown leather. Look at this fine brown leather. Look at You push this button right here. Look at that power. Power thigh cushions. This piece of damn shit does not have heated and cooled seats. How dare you? How dare you? trying to these germans trying to make you pay more money for cooled seats what's wrong with these people see you germans let me tell you something if you're german and you're watching this video i want you to understand something as long as you're thinking small instead of thinking big like americans you better not get yourselves involved in any wars because you're never gonna win because you think small and efficient and everything. But meanwhile, us Americans, you know what we're thinking? We're saying, you know what? Let's send over the biggest fucking planes that we got with the biggest nuclear bombs we got. And let's end this war. But you guys are trying to save money and you're trying to save gas and everything. Americans ain't thinking like that. That's the reason why you lose wars and we win. That right there is it. You and your small mentality. You know who else does think like that? You know who else thinks like that? The Japanese. And as long as you guys keep thinking small, you're never going to win a war. And you damn sure ain't going to be in the United States of America. Because we will send over, we will, we will build planes the size of aircraft carriers. And we'll bomb you into the Stone Age. Big. Think big. Stop thinking small and efficient shit. I don't give a fuck if my car gets nine miles to a gallon. I don't give a shit if gas costs $20 a gallon. I'll still be driving. You people and your small efficiency. That's the reason why you guys are socialists and you're going through austerity and your entire economy sucks. Economy sucks. That's why every time I see you on television, you're angry and you're up there protesting all the foreigners. The reason why is because you can't afford to have them guys around because you ain't got no money. <laughs> you just don't. You ain't got no jobs, no money. This is nice. God damn, this is nice. It's too bad this shit doesn't have cold seats. Y'all have got to stop thinking small. Stop thinking small. I don't care what those shit enthusiasts on Motor Trend and Car and Driver, I don't care what they think. When you're in America, you need to think big. Your car should be the size of Ram trucks. This is nice. I like this one. I like this new graphic. I love this shit. This is fucking so nice. It's too bad I can't cool my ass, but you know, it's nice. I don't know, what it is these German, little ass German cars? Making these little cars for these little 125 pound wasps. These women, that's all these cars are for, women. You'll never, you'll never, you'll never be able to compete with American muscle. 
So you might as well keep on putting these little bullshit four cylinders in these cars because you'll never be able to race us. What is this, 384 pounds? That's not bad, I guess. For, for fucking $65,000, it's not bad, I guess. I don't know, that's not too bad. This is nice, I like this. I like this so, oh shit, this is nice. Hey, <laughs> this is nice. Damn, this is nice. Let's see. Let's see where's the uh, lighting. Where's the lights inside the car? Let's see these light settings. I could play with this shit all week. <laughs> I love this. Ambient lights. Where's the ambient lights? Let's see. Where's the ambient lights? Ooh, shit. Oh, we got to we gotta turn it up to 11. Wait, is this a touchscreen? Is it touchscreen? This is not a touchscreen? Oh, cheap motherfucker. Oh, my God. That's not a touchscreen. Damn. Look at this. Where's the lights? Where's the lights? Where's the lights? I don't see them. Where's the lights? I don't see the lights. Where the lights at? Why can't I see the lights? Oh, I gotta push the button? Wait. I don't see the lights. I see blue. I see blue, but I don't... Where the lights at? I don't see it. <laughs> These Germans with their no... Cool, you don't even have cooled seats in your car. <laughs> where where are the lights? I don't see them. Where are they? Well, it is, I mean, it's really nice that you can't... Wait a minute. I, I don't see the lights. Where are the lights at? This is making me angry. Where, where are the lights at? But I'll tell you what. I'll take Mercedes over BMW any day. Or, or Audi. I don't want no Audi. Audi's boring. Audi is boring. They're so boring. It's like they're, they're, the inside of their cars have like no character whatsoever. At least Mercedes tells you up front, yeah, this is luxury. This is what you're supposed to be driving. It's like it's like World Venture Tours. It's like they hold up a sign and say, you know what? You should be here. This is where you should be. You should be in one of these. This, and this is a C-Class. This thing is fucking huge. Unless you're trying to sit behind me. Don't try to sit behind me because you ain't going to be able to fit unless you're an amputee. The C-Class is huge. Such a nice interior. I like these. But the uh, the E class is even better. All right, let me get out of this damn thing. Yeah, you see. Whoa, Jesus. I don't want to hit that glass window. If they start some shit. I'll be quick to tell them I'm not paying. Uh, okay. That's the C class. Where's the E class? And that's the A. A class right there. Where's the? What's this? C class. This is old E wagon. Nobody wants that. That thing is ugly. Nobody wants that. The only people who want that is like old people. Look at that Jeep. Okay, what's this? This is C class. This is the E class. E class coupe. This is the E class coupe. That's that S class right there. We'll get to you in a minute. Okay. One of the things that scares me about cars like this that have these windows that automatically go down and go up when you close and open the doors is what happens if the battery runs out? Because then I know somebody who had that problem. Like their battery died and when they tried to open the door, I think they broke the door because the problem was the battery died and the thing didn't come up and go down. So that can be a problem. You gotta be very careful with that. Look at this bastard. Look at this big bastard here. This is a V8 by Turbo Fomatic. This mother. Look at this mother. Look at this son of a bitch. I like this color. Look at this blue. This is nice. Look at this blue. This is nice. Now you see, Mercedes makes awesome cars. Fuck BMW, fuck Audi. Mercedes makes the best cars. I'm sorry, they just do. Now, granted, I'd feel a lot better about their cars if they had heated and cooled seats everywhere. But, oh shit, you see? You see, BMW's cars don't look as good as this. They just don't. And I know there's a lot of people who love BMW. Oh, but it's the ultimate driving machine. I don't care. Oh, whoa! This is 
This right here is the best. It's the best. It's the absolute best. This is the best you can get. You know, they used to have a saying. They said either it's S class or no class. I wish they would bring that saying back. Because as far as I'm concerned, either it's S class or no class. This sound is, look at this thing. What, how much is this? This is the AMG. I know this shit is, what is this, 150? 180, god damn. They don't, they're not joking, they're not joking around. They're not joking at all. Look at this shit. You got heated seats? Cooled seats? No, wait, cooled, wait, cooled seats, heated seats. I can change, so what's that? What's that? I think that's to get rid of the headrest or something. And then you got the right seat over there. I can move that around and everything. This. This right here is fabulous. That's fabulous. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. This is the best. Now, let's say you want a 2014 S550 or something like that. You can buy one of those right now used for anywhere between $40,000 and $60,000. Now, if you come to Mercedes and you buy one of these, the, the, the S550 or a used S class, if you buy one used, it's about $60,000 if it's certified pre owned. I don't recommend buying one of these things unless it's certified pre-owned because they have to have some type of warranty that at least says, yeah, when this piece of shit breaks down, they're going to do something about it. Look at the Burmeister. Look at that. Look at that. This thing turns and shit. How do you... Wait, wait, wait. If I turn it off, I think it spins and stuff. Look at this. Wait, wait. So you push the turn off button. You're going to turn it off. Look at that. Turn it off. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. However, the Burmeister is basically just a speaker. Like, you can actually get kits like that in a lot of cars now. Because I know, like, Aston Martin has that now. Look at that. I'm going to turn it on again. Look at that. Turn it on. Look at that. Oh, shit. Look at that shit. Look at that. BMW eats your heart out. Now, this, this right here is fabulous. So, if you want one of these things used... You can get one in between from a 2014, 15, 16. You can get one of those between, uh, what is it, uh, 40,000 and about 60,000 if you want one used. Now, as far as these AMGs, these things have fast depreciation. So, when, when an AMG model depreciates, you could probably get it for about 60 or 70 after about like one year's worth of depreciation. Because once that first person signs their name on the dotted line, this thing loses damn near. Forty or fifty thousand dollars in value, and that's one problem that I've always had with. I would never finance a German car. I would lease it, but I would never finance one of these things. But let me tell you something: when you're a big dude, like I'm a big dude, I, I am swimming in this car. Now, my uncle and my father have one of these things, and my uncle's is a blue. It's a bluish, uh, dark blue, or purple. It's like one of those dark purples. It's kind of like sangria, but it's not as uh, purple. But anyway. He's a big dude, my dad's a big dude, I'm a big dude. You can fit all of us big dudes up in this damn car. This is, when you're a basketball player or you're a football player and you're a big motherfucker, this is what you're supposed to be in. You're not supposed to be in one of them shitty ass Honda Accords. You're not supposed to be in one of them little ass Nissan Maximas that suck. You're not supposed to be in any of those boring Japanese Econo boxes. This is where you're supposed to be. This is where you're supposed to be. And if you're not it, if you're not here, then you're not working hard enough. Now, if you get like a Jeep or a Trackhawk or SRT Jeep or something like that, okay, yeah, you you good, you good. But when it comes to luxury, when it comes to luxury, forget BMW, forget Audi. This is where you're supposed to be. This is where you're supposed to be. Forget all that talk about track driving. Nobody drives on no track. There ain't no tracks around here. This is New York. There ain't no tracks. This is like weeds over there, but there ain't no track. It's like a grocery store. That's about it. This is where you're supposed to be. And if you're not here, you, you're doing something wrong. This is this is where you're supposed to be. This, this is incredible. This is fabulous. Look at this wheel. This is so nice. Look at that. This is so nice. Wow. Okay. But uh, me personally, I would get one of these without the engine power. Because the thing about it is this is a comfortable car. This is the kind of car you drive comfortably. You don't race nobody in one of these. Like if this thing had just 350 horsepower... It would be more than enough for me. Like, let's say it had a really big displacement V6. That would be more than enough for me. 
But um, they sell you a V8 because they say, okay, it's a luxury car. It's supposed to have a V8 or it's supposed to have more than a V8. So, you know, now everything's a twin turbo V8 or whatever. But my thing is this car doesn't need all that power. All I need out of this car is the luxury features like this, all the heated and cooled stuff for your ass and, and, the, and the, the thigh cushions and all that. That's what I'm talking about. This is just fabulous. This is fabulous in every way. This is fabulous in every way. You know, this is how it's about. Look at it, Burmeister. Look at that. Look at that shit. Like, that's just amazing. You got vanity mirrors for these women who can't stop looking at their makeup. That is just fabulous. You got reclining seats, reclining seats back there, and everything. Look at that. They got heated and cooled reclining seats. Look at that. And it'll only cost you the better part of a hundred and fucking eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. All right, let me get out of this thing. But I tell you, I tell you, don't put it past me with that W two twenty three. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe I say, you know what, SRT, I'm not happy with you. I'm gonna go over to Mercedes. Yeah, it's easier to get out of this too. You know, it would be a little bit easier if the roof was higher. But you know, so look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Got reclining seats and everything. Look at this. Let me, let me put the seat back. Let me put the seat back. God damn. Now, BMW, they stepped up their game with the 7 Series, but they didn't step it up enough. They just didn't. They didn't step up their game enough. I'm sorry, BMW. And Audi, your, your A8 is ugly. And it's boring. I'm sorry. It's ugly and boring. Ugly and boring. Sorry. It's just ugly and boring. So, that right there is where you're supposed to be. Right there. That exactly. I tell you, even the C class, the C class, the E class, you get a C class, E class, even this new A class, you're good. And that GT is a badass up in there. That GT that they got, that is a badass. A little too small for my taste, but that's a badass. That is some badass. Bad acetes. Okay, so then we're moving the GLC. So I think we test drove a silver one. So this is a GLC with more equipment because. All right. This is GLC rear wheel drive. So the one that we rode in, the one that I just took you in was an all wheel drive. This is the real wheel drive. And yeah, it's about $3,000 less, but my thing is no, you definitely want all wheel drive. All-wheel drive is like a must have. Hi, well, listen, this, I mean, it'll handle differently, but to tell you the truth, no matter what you get, you want to have all-wheel drive. That's like something you want to have. So like if you're in the South, you don't need all-wheel drive because it doesn't snow and it doesn't have ice. But if you're up here, when it snows and ice, you want to have all-wheel drive. Yeah, see, that's the problem, Mercedes. See, Mercedes, you guys got to give us heated and cooled seats, and you got to do so. Oh, so this one also has the push button start. It doesn't have the turn key. Yeah. So don't even think about rear wheel drive? I, no, you really want all wheel. Okay. You definitely want all wheel. I already know how it is. I already know. I, I, I'm No, the, the GLC is a, is a model I would... Me personally, I'm only into like the S Class and the GL E A and G. So the, the bigger cars and all that stuff. Like I don't even like the GLS. But I'm just saying for her, she definitely wants to have all wheel drive, definitely. I would get the all wheel drive there, no problem. Well yeah, let's uh you know, let's go in and talk to the manager. And and we'll see what the numbers look like. This white one right here, if you got hundred and sixty five thousand dollars, get this one right here. Okay. This is the new one. They got the, this shit got pictures on the buttons. Wow. Nah, this thing's a monster. But that, like, I like that S class that they have out there. Bi turbo means twin turbo V8. See, they they have special names for everything because they don't want you thinking that you're buying something regular. But that stuff works on people who are badge whores, not me. Yeah, yeah. What's AMG? AMG is their uh, racing uh, badge that lets you know that you're buying a more powerful car and you're spending like three or four times as much money as you would normally. This right here is noise. No, this one's nice. 
Yeah, you see it like no. Well, if you look in it, like you see how the computers, the um, the the, t the screens are. Like when you get in, oh, oh, wait, let me open it up. Yeah. You see how the screen? Yeah, they. I think they had these things trickle charged. But um, where where is it? No, well, if you go over there. But th I think this is the newest car they have. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, hello. But, is Rebecca back yet? Okay. Yeah, so this one had basically all like if you yeah, if you touch this like I don't know if the if the screen will come on, maybe the maybe the battery is low. But you see these these buttons, the buttons have like colored photos in them. Yeah. Very nice. This one's nice, but the the S class is really I, I still think the S class is probably the best one they got. Yeah. Oh, it's right over here. Okay, I'm just gonna just walk right out here for a sec. Yeah. See, if, I, if it were me and I was buying a car from them, that would be the one I'd buy. If I was buying one right now, my uncle has one of these, but he has it in purple. And my father has one too, he had it in black. Yeah, this one right here, yeah. Like I was sitting in here, I think this one is a, did the dealer, I think this is a dealer car. No, you see, all of their, they're making all of their monitors look like that. Like, even that GLC is going to look like that. Hello. Hi. That's Rebecca. Oh, hi. Hi, John. Oh, hi. my God. <laughs> <laughs> hi, John. Hi, John. Oh, my God. Wow. How about this? I know. Because it's a fellow, it's a fellow Londoner, definitely. Yeah. Damn right. Hey guys, what are you supposed to say, guys? What are you supposed to say? This car is thick. God damn. I gotta figure out how to, uh, I gotta figure out how to, uh, sell off some Bitcoin. <laughs> and the funny thing about it is you can get these damn things used and you can get them for like less than 60,000 now used. Especially, if, what is this, the AMG, uh, yeah. 63. Mm hmm. Because they, they, what they did was they upgraded these things to call them 560s and they pushed the price up. But the 550s, they'll, they'll make deals with you, man. They'll get rid of these damn things if they can. Nice. No, well. And here I am looking for a damn GLC. Oh, all right. Well, so much for that. Going back inside. Let me tell you something. BMW, you ain't got nothing on this. I, I hope whoever the head guy at BMW is, I hope you see this video. I hope you get upset. The head guy at Audi, I don't care how much money you make. I just want you to know your product lags behind Mercedes. That's all I want you to know. That's all. That's all I want you to know. Even AMG, way better. Way better. It's like having the Spice Girls. It's like having the Spice Girls working for you. It's like with all these London accents everywhere. How about that? It's like, oh, I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I say really, really, really want a zig a zig. Oh, if you wanna be my lover, gotta be my friend. Friends don't last forever. Friendship never ends. Love don't last forever. Gotta wanna be my friend. Love don't last forever. Friendship never ends. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make it last forever. You see what they did to me? You see what they did to me on that flight? I was listening to that British music. You see what they did? Look at this goddamn thing. Look at this freaking thing. It's like, how do I sell some Bitcoin so I can get one of these damn things? BMW ain't got nothing on this. That six sucks. The eight, the new eight series, you notice that they ain't even talking about that thing. It's boring. Jesus. It's like they got some shit here, boy. God damn. They got some shit here. Alright, so let's go over here and get us some Mercedes Benz coffee.
I have to say, I love the look of all Mercedes dealerships. They make this place look like Christmas. I love it. You got the trickle charger right there. Yeah. And I'll tell you again, I've said this before. I like the S-Class more than the Bentleys and the, uh, what is it called, the Rolls Royces, because the S-Class is just so technologically savvy. I love it. Wait, where's that coffee at? It's around here somewhere. Look at this. Ooh, look at this interior. Not final. You bet, damn sure right it ain't final. This is a GLC 43, and they want 76 for this. I think I saw this from before. Oh, it's got heated and cooled seats. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, okay, good. I see the colors. Let me, you know, let me get in this. Let me get in this. I want to see some colors. I want to play with the color matching. I love the color matching. The color matching is awesome. I love it. See, over there is where you sit down while you're waiting for them to repair your Mercedes because you know these German cars, these things break down like crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, these bucket seats, man. These bucket seats are something else. Okay, let's let's get in there. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Okay, let's let's put the butt, let's put the booty down. Let's put the booty down. Yeah, here we go. Now I can sink. See, this is how I drive. I sink into my seat. You know, like you be on the highway, and you see people who are riding with their face right up to the goddamn wheel. So if you hit something, the airbag destroys you. That's not how I drive. I drive cool. Okay, so let's see what we got. What we got. What we got. Okay, the power buttons right there. Let's see where where's he? What we got? What we got? Let's see. I want to see some menu stuff. Where is it? You can't turn this damn thing on without the man. This thing should be in demo mode. Oh, look at this. This is nice. This is nice. We got that nice blue. We got that nice outline. Look at that. Look at that blue. Oh, man. See, Merce I don't know who Mercedes designer is, but they need to give that man a goddamn raise. That guy deserves a raise. However, whoever the bean counter is, who doesn't give you heated and cooled seats on everything, I want your ass fired today. I want you like fired, you know? Cause you deserve it, you did anybody. I mean, if you're forcing people to pay like 50 and $60,000 up to a hundred and goddamn $99,000 for a car and you're telling me that heated and cooled seats are optional, I want your ass fired immediately. You know, you don't deserve to work another day. You gotta give the people what they want. Or you'll find yourself without a paycheck. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. <laughs> oh my god, I like these LEDs. I love it. I freaking love it. Wow, Jesus, I'm sitting deep in this thing. This is nice. It's huge. This thing is spacious. Now, if you were trying to sit behind me, yeah, it's not going to work out too well for you. But I have to say, this is pretty, pretty nice. I like it. Okay. Oh shit! Here we are, the S560 Coupe. Look at this shit. Is it power? Is it power? Ah, uh, there's no power. Some of these poor people probably playing around in this thing too long and it died. There's no seat space behind me at all. But I could, I could probably sit in there. But there's no seat space and I can't move the wheel because the battery's dead. I have to say, they did a really good job replacing the CL. Did a very good job, fabulous. Where's that Mercedes coffee at? Where's that Mercedes coffee? Okay, so this is the bathroom. Let's go find us some Mercedes coffee. Let's go find the Mercedes coffee. Where is it at? It's over here. Here we go, Mercedes coffee. Uh oh, I, 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 I can hear thickness. Hi guys. Thickness, did you see that thickness? God damn. Oh boy. Veranda blend, Verona, and breakfast blend. Let's see. Okay. Dark, well, you know what? Light has more caffeine. So let's get the light, light blend. 
short what is this yeah make your beverage okay collecting the bean yeah yep yep see if you're sitting around here in mercedes all day this is what this is the life this is the life just i could be a mercedes sales guy i would like to sell mercedes i would i would do it i would do it i'd quit my job yeah why not i'd be the best salesman they ever had I'd be the best Mercedes sales guy ever. I would literally convince people to like, I would upsell you on everything. Like I'd be like, oh, you're gonna get a regular four cylinder? No, fuck that, get the AMG. Cause you rich, you rich, get the AMG. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You know what? I swear to God, if you don't get that AMG, there's gonna be people in traffic laughing at you. I would upsell you on everything. And I would get that, I'd get those little plaques and everything, the awards that say, yeah, you're salesman of the month. I'd get them all. I'd get them all. People would start to hate me around here. And then I'd take over the business, I'd fire them. <laughs> no negotiations. Okay. I don't know what it is with these businesses that have coffee machines, but they don't have tops. What is that about? Are you trying to get yourself in a lawsuit? Because I swear to God, I burned myself. I'm going to own every S-Class here and this place because I burned myself. You remember that lady who sued McDonald's? She sued the shit out of McDonald's. And she deserved it, too. Why didn't you put my lid on a little bit tighter? You better, you better hope to God I didn't burn myself. Let's get that milk up in there. I got the whole milk machine. I, I want one of these in my house. This is cool. I have to say, though, this is not as cool as Lexus, because Lexus had everything. They had cookies, they had sandwiches, they had a goddamn popcorn machine, they had a children's waiting area, they had soft chairs and everything. Like, Lexus, they, they treated you like royalty. But uh, the thing about it is what Lexus didn't have was cool cars. Not a damn one of Lexus's cars is as cool as a damn single one of Mercedes cars. Lexus... When you buy a Lexus, it's like you basically telling them, you know what, put me to sleep with your boring ass car. Always remember the light blends have more caffeine. More caffeine than the light blend. See, when I drink like this, you know, that's how I keep this beautiful commentary coming to you. That's how I get you the, get you the nice commentary. You know, if I drank that dark roast, I wouldn't be able to give you the fun commentary because I'd be too tired. You know, Starbucks. I would never buy shit from Starbucks. I go to Aubon Pond. Starbucks sucks. Anybody who's stupid enough to be in Starbucks buying $6 cups of coffee, I hope to God you go bankrupt. I hope student loans eat you alive. Ah, yeah. Light Rose, baby. Verona. <clears throat> Very nice dealership. This makes me, I wish I was a car dealer. I hate my job, I wanna be a car dealer. I wanna, I wanna just sell, exp ooh, CLS, for, okay, that's the 450, yeah, I already saw this. This is the redesigned CLS, but to tell you the truth, man, why buy the CLS? We can buy the A-Class, you cheap motherfucker. Buy the A-Class, you cheap ass, you broke ass. Buy the A-Class. So let me tell you something, when you guys are going shopping for these shit ass German cars and you just driving them badges, let me tell you something, SRT don't joke. I got, I got auto start where I start that shit from the inside of my house where it's nice and cold outside. When I get in my car, that shit is already warm. And I don't have to fight with some goddamn German company about heated and cooled seats. I ain't got to fight with nobody because my SRT, Chrysler FCA product, came with all of that and i just told both those managers i said listen guys when you order these fucking cars make sure these things come look at that heated and cooled seats bitches and i got a heated steering wheel there ain't no fucking premium two package this shit came with all i'm gonna i'm gonna cool i'm gonna warm my ass just because i want to warm my ass i ain't got to fight with nobody about no navigation i ain't got to fight with nobody about heated and cooled seats most of y'all drive around these shitty ass german cars and the thing about it is, your cars ain't got shit in them. You got no options. 
and y'all are just driving in it because the shit says a badge on it. It's like, that's why when I see you guys in the road and I know you got one of them four cylinders or I know you got one of them bullshit twin turbo V6s, I'm going to pass you with a fury. So you goddamn German cars with these stupid packages. Oh, yeah, well, we, well you can't get the heated mirror unless you get a package. Yeah, I do burnouts all over your ass. And, and granted, I love the product, but I, I have a problem with the country. I think you guys are full of shit, and that's the reason why you lost World War II. It's because y'all don't think big. Y'all don't think big. Y'all try to make everything fucking small and efficient. That's why you lost. You better, you better hide behind NATO, and President Trump's gonna take NATO away. You're gonna have no protection. You're gonna have no protection. We're not paying for it. We're not, what did President Trump say? He said, we're not paying for it. We're not paying for none of that. We're gonna take NATO right from under you, and let me tell you something, the next Archduke Ferdinand gets assassinated, your ass is grass, because there ain't going to be no NATO. You're not getting no F-35. I'll tell you what, you want an F-35? We're going to make you pay a premium package on that shit. You ain't getting no F-35. You ain't getting no F-35, you ain't getting no F-22 either. You're going you're gonna to pay American wages. President Trump said, nah, you ain't getting no NATO. We'll let, we'll let Russia roll over you with tanks. Cause you you think you can you think you can rip off America dumbass Americans you think you can rip us off with premium two packages and premium one packages? We will not sell you another weapon, and we will let Russia roll over you with tanks. Do you understand what I'm saying? And when I run for president and I win with the rhetoric that I'm I got Trump rhetoric I got Trump in my blood somewhere somewhere in my blood there's a racist, ball headed blonde ass racist president in my blood somewhere and let me tell you something we will let russia roll over you with tanks simply because you were ripping us off with premium packages so we haven't decided exactly which car we're gonna buy but what i will say is the glc does look nice because to tell you the truth i you know the kia i'm you know the kia was nice kia was really nice the kia telluride was nice problem is i don't feel comfortable with a car that says kia on the side of it i just don't i pr prefer if it said hyundai but uh you germans with your fucking lack of heated and cooled seats you guys are pissing me off and um i'm very disappointed in you because everything should have heated and cooled seats it just should look at this i got all-wheel drive i ain't got to fight with nobody over some goddamn all-wheel drive you know it's like what is wrong with y'all it's like at least FCA, at least, at least they figured it out. They're like, you know what? If we want to sell these things, we better sell these things fully loaded. Look at this guy with this Mercedes. It's like, we got to sell these things fully loaded. We can't fuck around because people like, people like Big Truck, they're going to call us out on it. You damn right I'm going to call you out on it, Diter Zeiss. You hear what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, every time I make a video criticizing, I'm going to send that shit straight to corporate. I, oh yeah, I know you're gonna make your sales because I know a lot of these people. They feel that they have to have Mercedes and everything, or they gotta have one of these German badges in order to feel like they're somebody. But uh, me personally, me personally, I could I could do without it. I could do without it. But let me tell you something, you Germans. Let me tell you something. You better start thinking big. And I and granted, you did. I mean, you started making bigger cars, but you guys better start thinking bigger because you ain't never gonna win no war thinking the way you think. You're just gonna get, you're gonna get annihilated out there. We will let Russia run you. No more NATO. No more NATO for you. President Trump and his Russian oligarchs are disabling NATO. There's gonna be no more NATO for you. If you don't th start thinking bigger and less efficient and more powerful, let me tell you something, you're gonna get run down. You're gonna get run down by Moscow. And we will let it happen. I'll be watching that shit on my 80 inch television. Let me tell you just like that. And you can say, oh, well, that's just a madman. He's just rambling. Yeah, well, I'm telling you what it is. Me and President Trump are telling you what it is. So you better get your stuff together.